Now we all know that brakes are a super important part of any car, which is why I'm here at the Techstar test track to actually show you how to fit them properly. Let's go again. Loads of modern cars these days come as standard fitted with electronic parking brake or EPB systems. You can see it's a pretty standard looking caliper there, but behind on the back is a servo which actually operates the piston of the caliper in and out, obviously depending on the electronic signals coming from the brain of the car. Now, when it comes to actually changing the brakes on a car like this, obviously people have tried all kinds of different fiddles just to avoid buying the correct EPB service tool, but really it's just not worth the bother. First of all, there are all kinds of safety features built into the car, which means that at any moment, for no particular reason, the EPB could be operated, therefore crushing your fingers potentially, and that means you may lose your fingers, but also your job, so it's not very clever at all. Now, even if you do manage to be super foolhardy and find a way of actually fiddling the system so you can change the pads without obviously chopping your fingers off, one thing you won't be able to do is calibrate the system. Now, an EPB EPB service tool will actually take the servo through a certain set of processes and that will actually make sure that you've got the right amount of air gap between the pads and the disc and without that the brakes just won't function properly and of course there'll be all kinds of other problems down the line. Now you can get yourself an EPB service tool from anything for about £150 up to something like this for £500 or so and it's quite simple very, very easy instructions to follow. You have a little plug on the end here, which has to go into the OBD2 socket under the dashboard normally. And then, of course, you have to turn your ignition on. And while we wait for it to warm up, then really, really simply, we can just come back to the back of the car and actually operate it. Now, this particular service tool has all kinds of different functions. So I'm just going to scroll down to my electronic park brake. And it's telling me to ensure the ignition is on, which I have done, which is great. So it's now having a quick chat with the car to find out actually what's going on. Right, so I now release the brakes. So you can hear the servers on both sides of the car actually winding out the piston inside the caliper. So now the brakes are released, but also the car knows not to mess with this system while I'm working on it. So now you can fit your new pads. And once that's done, just go back to closing the brakes. So what we do is just pop down to there and then we can close the brakes again. So you can hear they're now up to tension. Now this last part of the process is absolutely vital and you certainly can't do it while fiddling the system. You have to use an EPB service tool and that is to calibrate both calipers. So basically I'm now ready to do that. So I just find my setting. It says calibrate brakes. Have they have been closed? Yes, they have. Now you can hear the servo going backwards and forwards and what it's trying to do is actually work out where it is and then it's setting the air gap between the pad and the disc because that is absolutely vital and now that's done, we're ready to go. 